Alright, what's up Amaya? In this video, I am going to show you how to make a live bootable USB of Hiren's Boot CD PE pre-installation environment. So this is the restored edition of Hiren's Boot CD which is based on Windows 11 pre-installed version and Architect X64. Well, to download this, all you have to do is to go to this link. I will provide the link in the description so you can download it for yourself. In here we need to go to the download section which is right on the top. Just click on download this will go to the download page where you can see all the tools that are available in this ISO image. These are all the tools that are already available which means you can use them to test your PC, do some stuff and whatever you want to do on your computer. You can also recover or restore your lost computer so just simply check the file name and here click on the file name and download this will download the ISO image which you can flash on your USB and use that to flash it on your USB we have to use Rufus, Rufus so I will provide this link in the description so you can download Rufus for yourself and once you are in this link all you have to do is scroll down a bit and download the portable edition there are standard editions but the portable one is what I recommend. Simply click on the second link and hit download. And now all you have to do is wait for the download to complete. Once the download is complete I will show you how you can make a bootable USB and use Hiren CD pre-installation environment on your laptop or any laptop that you want to use it on. So now you can see both of the downloads are completed. Now I'm just gonna close these two tabs. And in the in this page, we have to go to the USB booting section. If you are using a CD, you should go to the burning section. But in this age, no one uses CD, so USB is the way. So there are steps that uh, you need to follow. The first step is to download the Rufus, which we just did. On Rufus, we need to activate dual UEFI or BIOS mode which is enabled by ALT plus E to activate Rufus's dual mode. So let's go to your download and open the portable Rufus. Say yes to any prompt that you get and yes say yes because we need to keep it up to date. Now what we need to do let's follow the guide step by step. Just enable the dual UEFI mode. So to enable that all you have to do is press the ALT plus E key. Now as you can see dual UEFI or BIOS mode enabled. Which is good. Now just gonna show hide advanced properties. What is the next step? Next step is to select the ISO image. Okay let's go ahead. Here you can see the second option is select. And select the ISO image that we have just downloaded. Now I'm going to plug in my USB so it gets detected on Rufus. Here we go, the USB is plugged in and the ISO image is select. Now what we need to do? We need to choose the partition scheme as MBR and file system as FAT32. If you have a large USB more than 32 GB, you can use the force large 32 GB formatting. But I don't. I have a 8 GB USB, so I don't think I need to change anything at all. Okay, let's make sure that all the settings are like this, as shown in this screenshot. Yep, everything is matching up. Don't need to change anything at all. Let's see some. Let's see some. Show it once. Format settings. No, nothing to change. Let's start it, click on OK and this will delete everything on the USB. Make sure you back up your USB contents if you use your USB for something else. If you have a empty USB just keep it at this is and wait for the part the Rufus to do its job. I'm just gonna skip to the main part as you can see right from here. Looks like Rufus has done flashing the USB and USB is now ready to boot. After this is done, all you have to do is close the Rufus and make sure that USB is working. Just go to your file explorer. As you can see, it renamed to Hiran's boot CDOS pre-installation environment. Now, on any laptop, the way you want to use it, simply restart your laptop. 
like this and we have two keys on this laptop either the f2 key or the f12 key f12 key opens up the one time boot option and you don't have to go to bios so once your dell logo shows up smash that f12 key and this will prepare one time boot menu now you can select your usb to boot from usb and you can use your Hiram's boot cd pre-installation environment on your laptop well the only famous way to use the Hiram's boot cd pre-installation environment is that it has a tool which is the windows login unlocker it just removes the administrator part password that you have on your laptop setup I will show you how you can use that but there are other very useful tools as well this will continue loading the files maybe this happens only once but you have to be patient on this one now as you can see it is installing OEM drivers and doing some stuff it is now almost done now you can see it is working this is most looking like Windows 7 and Windows 11 hybrid and it has a lot of tools in all programs you can see everything that you might need there are some administrative tools these are some standard tools that come with windows pre-installed but some of them are added later like this hard disk tools which you can use for data recovery if you have lost your data you can use this for defragmentation you can use these tools crystal disk info is for your information about your disk you can reimage partition make partitions change some security settings do some network settings and tweaks here are some office settings like 7 zip file manager is very useful in this case for powershell for recovery you can use victoria i don't know anything about that there is rufus image usb and cd Werner xp very useful stuff there is some two pre-installed antivirus softwares there is some show key plus and the passwords where you can see the third one is the one that is mostly used okay there are some system tools like hardware info check your hardware you can check your cpu your gpu you can change the registry tweaks there is registry backup as well there are so many useful tools if you are a repair if you want to repair computers if someone has forgotten their password you can check information about your system but this is just now that's not useful at all it only gives you CPU and RAM information okay so that yeah, the main focus of this tool is that it has an option that can remove Windows login passwords if you have to go to security in passwords open the Windows login unlocker I actually do not have a system I mean I do not have a password set on my laptop that is why it is not showing up but if you have a password set up on your laptop simply go there in the username in the second box you will see an option something like your username or something like that you can click on that and in the these options you can bypass that password you can cre even create a new user if the bypass is not working you can reset or unlock the password and access your PC without having the password so this is how you can bypass your Windows login passwords using Hiram's boot CD pre-installation environment which is the latest version you can use hardware info to determine everything about your hardware or laptop so I don't think anything I can show you right now you can explore it by yourself M now if you want to exit it all you have to do is restart your system and unplug the USB this will boot into your normal windows just like that now as you can see system is now rebooting and I'm gonna unplug the USB and anyway that's been it thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next one take care bye bye